What's up? It's your most hated kaiju power scaler, King Churros here, and we're back at it again with another versus battle, this time with the Heisei variants of King Ghidorah and Super Mecha Godzilla. I'm here with my mates Gamera and Milk, and we're going to go over these two kaijus, their stats, their feats, and their abilities, and based off those who we think would win in a 1v1 tussle. Now, before we get into the video, I'd like to give thanks to everyone watching, and I'll much appreciate a like and subscribe. And don't be shy. Go ahead and comment any versus battle you'd like to see me and my friends debate about. Or any kaiju battle you want to talk about, go right ahead and put it in the comments. But without any further ado, let's begin starting off with Heisei King Ghidorah. Uh, uh. Heisei King Ghidorah from the 1991 film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah is at a height of 150 meters or 492 feet, a weight of 70,000 metric tons, and a wingspan of 175 meters or 574 feet. His abilities include flight, moving at speeds of Mach 4, physical power, high durability hurricane winds, and he has gravity beams, which can fire at minimum Mach 5 and has two to 40 gigatons of TNT power. His feats include Extreme flight, able to destroy a bridge, and he can explode jets just by flying over them, similar to how Rodan does. He's able to, his gravity beams are able to hurt and damage Godzilla, and he's able to kick Godzilla over with his legs and restrain Godzilla, showing that he has comparable strength to Heisei Godzilla and may even be stronger. He tanks Godzilla's 500,000, uh, is it, is it? I'm gonna have to cut this. 500,000. Is it Calvin? No. Guys, help me out here. Is it is it Fahrenheit? Celsius! He tanks Godzilla's 500,000 Celsius two teraton atomic breath. He's able to dodge his atomic breath, which can move at up to Mach 36 speed, but when dodging it, it was only at Mach 4 speed, which is compare which is consistent with his regular speed. And in the dub, one of the Futurians state that Ghidorah is going to kill it when he was uh, stomping onto Heisei Godzilla. Even though I'm going to be honest, that Futurian was really feeling himself because King Ghidorah was, yes, had the upper hand over Heisei Godzilla. But as soon as the mind control went off, Heisei Godzilla got up immediately. So I don't think he was going to die. Um... An anti feat is his wings earlier in the fight were able to block his atomic breath just fine, but later in the film when he lost a head, Godzilla fired at his wings again and then he lost flight and died. So that's an anti feat for King Ghidorah. But we're gonna move on to Heisei Mecha Godzilla, or also known as Super Mecha Godzilla, who has a height of 120 meters and a weight of 150,000 tons to 150. 482 metric tons with the Garuda. His abilities include Mega Buster, Pause, Laser Cannon, Shock Anchor, G Crusher, Paralyzer Missiles, Tranquilizer Missiles, Plasma Grenades, Hovering and Flight, Diamond Coating, and High Power Maser Beam Cannon. So yeah, Mecha Godzilla got a lot of abilities. It's a feat include its Diamond Coating completely negates Godzilla's Atomic Breath, which we established is 500,000 uh, Celsius of degrees and two uh, up more than two teratons of TNT. He completely tanks that no fi just fine. His plasma grenades make Godzilla fall over multiple times and was able when Godzilla was paralyzed and made Godzilla fly back like a doll. He's able to tank Rodan's plasma rays, can react to Rodan's supersonic speeds, and with three uh over over with three grenades, he was, he basically kills Rodan. And he's able to, uh, and his basic um, laser cannon, I believe, if I got it right, or or is it the Mega Buster? I think it's the Mega Busters, where it's his Rainbow Beam. His Rainbow Beam basically yeah. can match Godzilla's regular atomic breath. Mm -hmm. And before Godzilla got his Rodan amp, he essentially defeated Godzilla. So I'm here with my mates Gamera and Milk, and we're gonna discuss who we think would win out of these two. Let's uh. Let's get let's get start the discussion, boys. Starting with Milk, who who you think's coming out on top? I think Super Mech Godzilla has won the bag. Well, why is that? He has a lot more range capabilities. You know, he's shown to be really bad at a melee. I honestly don't think 
Yeah, Rodan, Rodan, Rodan of all people was able to like take an eye out on him because he's yeah. he's not that good at close combat. And, and even then, when, when Rodan did that, he still retaliated with one friggin' uh, belly beam. The, yeah, and the Mega Buster. Shot him. Oh wait, not the Mega Buster, the, no, the, the grenade. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and he basically one shot him. He yeah, Rodan extreme. didn't really stand a chance against Super Mecha God. This was a powered up Rodan too. Because the base Rodan was able to... It wasn't exactly beating Godzilla or nothing like that, but he was able to like throw some good blows in with Godzilla. He was able to fight back. So, when we think, see... I you think what? I think the only way Ghidorah has a chance is if his gravity beam somehow like affects Mechagodzilla's electronics. But I honestly think that's it. Because Ghidorah wasn't that good at combat either. Like, yeah, like, like he restrained Godzilla, but that's not really gonna work with a robot. Because robots, you know, don't really need to, like, move to do anything. They can just blast a guy out of their stomach or whatever, you know? Yeah, not to mention, yeah, he or could just use missiles. a Mega Buster if he's, uh, put into that situation. Yeah. Gamera, what you saying? King Ghidorah or Super Mecha Godzilla is taking this fight? I would say Super Mecha Godzilla for a majority of reasons. Mostly because of his, uh, diamond killing. He could absorb most of, um, uh, those gravity beings. Just his, um... On par with um with Godzilla, if you could say. Right. And I'm also gonna have to agree with my boys here. Uh, Super Mecha Godzilla kind of has this, and uh, here's why. Um, so with the matchup between King Ghidorah and Godzilla, they were uh, basically on even ground. And the movie tries to make it out as if King Ghidorah was the stronger of the two, but I'm gonna give reasons as to why Godzilla was definitely the stronger one out of the two. So yes, when the, they first uh, met up with each other, King Ghidorah had the upper hand and was basically dominating over Godzilla. His atomic breath couldn't do anything, King Ghidorah was dodging in, his skin could tank, could tank it just like how um, Super Mecha Godzilla was tanking it. And um... Yeah, he was knocking him over, and then he was stomping on him. And it was just like, it just seems like GG's from there on, but... If you notice, he didn't do any su substantial damage to Heisei Godzilla. In fact, right after the mind control thing, like, went off and King Ghidorah fell over, Godzilla gets up instantly. Like, the movie was wanking him off, being like, oh yeah, he's gonna kill Godzilla, he doesn't stand a chance, but... If you were gonna kill someone, right, you're like, how you're stomping on him repeatedly. You fall over, and they get up instantly. I don't think that correlates to you nearly killing them. Like, am I am I crazy, guys? Like, if you're about to kill someone, if you're hitting them with a heavy attack, they don't get up right after and then start bodying uh. you. Because right after that, Godzilla bodies him like, no, like there's no tomorrow. He literally grabs him by the two tails, swings him up and down, over and over again. Then he f swings him over uh, like a couple hundred meters, well not hundred meters, but a couple meters, yards, about a mile away from each other. And here's a, actually you know, an impressive speed feat. King Ghidorah, I will say, is faster than Super Mecha Godzilla, and that's with his advantage. Because when King Ghidorah was on his back after being thrown, Godzilla had the advantage because he was right behind him. But King Ghidorah moved so fast that he was able to turn around and fly and strangle... Uh, tangle up Godzilla and Godzilla wasn't able to react like if he's looking to film Godzilla's face is like oh I can't I can't I can't react so King Ghidorah's best uh, advantage is his speed but as Milk mentioned earlier this guy's a robot and that's not gonna help too much not that much you know uh, you know speed doesn't wasn't gonna help that much bam and, and and yeah Godzilla was overall just way more powerful so Yes, King Ghidorah is comparable, as you know, when he was strangling Godzilla, Godzilla was foaming at the mouth, like that. People were saying, oh, I don't know why the Futurians were like, yeah, King Ghidorah is going to kill him now when he was stomping on him. They should have said it at this scene, but obviously, you know, they were preoccupied with the other protagonists of the film. But this was the real scene where King Ghidorah actually was going to kill Godzilla. But the thing was, Godzilla had the atomic pulse, and he didn't get that from the supercharge, he been had that since Biolante. So, Godzilla was already set. 
And that super and that and that pulse made King Ghidorah made a special pain the sound effect and knocked him miles well not miles yards away from him. And then Godzilla hit them with the spiral ring, which completely cut off a head. And apparently that reduced Ghidorah's uh, durability by a lot because the same wings that were able to block his uh, basic his basic uh, base form atomic breath were no longer able to do that. And it made a huge hole in his wings. So that already established Godzilla just was stronger than King Ghidorah overall. But this same Godzilla, who, mind you, had more experience fighting against Mothra and Batra and, you know, King Ghidorah himself. This Godzilla is more experienced, yet he was overpowered by Mecha Godzilla in the first fight. Of course, he reverted the power back to Mecha, uh, Super Mecha Godzilla and overcharged him. But other than that, if Dave Godzilla wasn't able to do that, he would have lost the fight. Then in fight number two, if Rodan wasn't there to amp him up, he would have lost the fight again. The Super Mecha Godzilla proved himself to be the, the stronger, superior one without uh, Heisei Godzilla using hacks or like power-ups. So it, basically everything just points and leads towards Super Mecha Godzilla being way stronger than Super Mecha Godzilla. But I feel like you could make an argument for King Ghidorah, but that's up to you guys. You 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 two think you can make an argument for how King Ghidorah could win this? Um No. I'm gonna guess maybe, it just depends, like maybe Ghidorah's um gravity beam would like disrupt Super Mechagodzilla's um like, electronics somehow. That's it. That's but if it's electric really... base, because the only Ghidorah exactly. I'm aware of that's actually electric base is the Monsterverse one. Because it is gravity beams, like not lightning bolts. But yeah, if King Ghidorah is able to do what uh, Godzilla did earlier, that could help. But the fact that Godzilla wasn't able to do it a second time kind of kind of shows something. Yeah. And that Mega Buster is going to be like real deadly with Super Mecha mm -hmm. Godzilla's whole entire arsenal. He can use like his his uh, paralyzing grenades like he did on Godzilla. It took about 12 though to like actually get Godzilla paralyzed, but he he fires them so fast. I don't think. Well, actually, I don't know. Ghidorah has a better reaction times than Godzilla, so maybe he would be able. First of all, he can fly, so he can dodge those. But the diamond coating on Super Mecha Godzilla is just going to ensure him because the gravity beams. Their destructive capacity is not strong enough to break through Super Mecha Godzilla's defense. So honestly, I really can't see how King Ghidorah is going to pull this off. Unless maybe like he just like gets up close and just I don't know somehow like I don't know. I mean, he, I, like I, I don't know if he's strong enough to like dismember Mecha Godzilla at all. Probably not. King Ghidorah, Maybe. Um, Super Mecha Godzilla is, I would assume, well, no, I would assume, um, let me look back at the phone. He didn't really use any, like, physical abilities. He was pretty much, like, all weaponry. But he's made out of the same materials as, um, uh, Mecha King Ghidorah. Mm -hmm. And Mecha King Ghidorah was able to overpower, uh, the same Godzilla. So, in theory, he should be around the same strength as normal Godzilla like I don't think it's enough for Heisei to dismember him I don't think there's enough supporting evidence for that yeah I'm like maybe um I guess it's like cause like if like Ghidorah attacks this my Godzilla from the back there's not a lot he can do cause his back's kind of his weakness you know cause like nothing like I guess Groot is there but not really I um, there's still facing the front you know, but even then, even if he's from the back, it's not like it would do that much. Because he could just, you know, turn. It's not exactly like it'd be that helpful. But yeah, there's not really much. Gamma, you think you can make an argument for Ghidorah? Well, for Ghidorah, um, I would say, like, he would stand a chance since, like, he is very quite durable and. In some battle scenarios with Godzilla, he is quite durable. Able to survive and withstand Godzilla's atomic breath on multiple occasions. 
was also um was also able to um pin Godzilla down and that's probably it. Yeah, I don't I don't yeah, there's not really much there, so yeah, now guys, you you heard it here, folks, man. Like King of Door doesn't. Is this is pretty much a sweep, if I'm being honest. Super Mecha Godzilla kind of wins this low to mid difficulty, more so on the low difficulty end, because King of Door doesn't really have any means of actually like damaging Super Mecha Godzilla or like the best thing he got is speed blitzing him. And then again, Super Mecha Godzilla was able to react to Rodan, who's um I need to uh, I don't have his speed here right down but Rodan has consistently throughout the entire Godzilla series been sub supersonic speeds which is about the same speed as King Ghidorah who is also supersonic speed as he was able to move at Mach 4 and uh, outspeed jets which is something Rodan has done on multiple occasions so it's not that much of a reach to say Super Mega Godzilla can also react to him if he's also able to able to react to Rodan so yeah it's just it's just Super Mega wins